Welcome to the mistletoe. Thanks so much. Have a great holiday. Every charming little town has a dark underbelly if you know what to look for. How did you say he died? I didn't. Sarah, happy holidays to you. Happy holidays. We're talking about mistletoe murders. Yes. I mean, not really what you typically think, right? But what are some of those ingredients that just make it so magical and so hallmark? You know, I actually think what Mistletoe Murders, it's sort of pushing the boundary a little bit and adding a, some like noir and a little bit of darkness mixed in with all the things that we love. Look, people love mystery. People love Christmas. This is the first show that's combining the two. It has comedy, it has action, it has suspense, it has romance and chemistry, sleuthing, it's cozy, and it's good people trying to do the right thing and trying to love each other well. So it's got all the things. People are gonna love it. I'm so excited, I can't tell you. I'm so excited. How can I help you? Uh, there was talk of a wait list. Uh, yes, let me just check our big red computer here. Uh, you mind if I just take a look? Have at her. Great. What I'm actually after here is a comprehensive list of names of everyone who rode on that wagon with Marcus the night he died. How do you get into the holiday spirit when you're not exactly filming during the holiday season? So oh. is there anything that you do personally to just kind of get into that mode? Toronto in the summer was warm. I will say that. <laughs> We're wearing winter coats in Toronto in the summer, pretending it's winter. Thinking cool thoughts, right? We're thinking cool, cool thoughts. thoughts. I would I would walk into the diner that was like 900 degrees and be like, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Just trying to sell it. Just trying to sell it. I'm Lizzie. I'm Emily I own Under the Mistletoe. Of course. You said you're here for a friend? Yeah, yeah, yeah. She just got a job at the bank right down the street from my shop. Oh. I used to date someone who works there. I just learned he passed away. Oh, I'm so sorry. We dated for a year, but we broke up a few months ago. Uh, I shouldn't pry. Uh, no, not at all. It's nice to open up to someone. What is it about Hallmark movies that people love so much, in your opinion? I think there's something really special about the whole Hallmark brand in general, which is that there's a lot of pain in life and a lot of things that don't work out in life. And when we want to sit down and relax and unwind from our day, we want to watch something that we know everything is going to work out in the end. There is something very comforting and satisfying about that. And Hallmark, you know, when you show up and sit down and watch one of these, we're like, this is a person who is messy, but trying to do the right thing. And it gives you hope and humanity, and it makes you feel good. Your move, detective. I just have one question for you, Emily Lane. Who are you really? I'm in love with this brand. I think it's phenomenal.